Hey there, it's Suzanne from Yada Creative Digital Marketing, and this is Social Oomph, and this is the tool that I use to help load up social media content and basically have it run forever. Um, it's a really neat uh, service that you can um, sign up for. It's, it's more affordable, but it unfortunately is not quite as user-friendly as I would like. So here's the basics of it. Social Oomph comes in queues. And so I'm going to be opening up these queue reservoirs. And you can see that I have a few cues, uh, one for activism, one for entrepreneurial articles, funny images, inspirational images. We're going to focus on the inspirational images queue right now. Um, and what you can do is I'll show you um, I have a bunch of accounts on Facebook and Twitter that have been linked up here. I've, I've gone to connect social accounts and made sure that everything is checked off. I named it Inspirational Images. Uh, publish update at regular intervals so I can have any of these inspirational images that I'm going to be uploading publish every two days. Um, and then I can select which, which uh, social media accounts I want it to publish to every two days. Now this is the interesting check mark right here, the recycle updates. When a new update is added to the queue, automatically mark it for recycling back into the end of the queue when it's published. That's a lot of words, but it means that if I upload five images and it uploads one every two days, then in 10 days, it's gonna start posting the first image again. Uh, to, to put it in a more realistic uh, a way that I would use it, if I've got 100 images and I post once a week, that brings me out to a, a, a heck of a lot of time um, before it starts posting again. And by that time, people have forgotten what you've orig originally posted. So uh, 100 images once a week can go a very long way and that also helps keep your account fresh and just updated. Um, I actually recommend, depending on um, what you're up updating, I recommend uh, at least five to ten posts a day on Twitter. Um, just Twitter is a lot more active that way, and at least two posts a day on on Facebook, uh, depending on what your business is and what what you're aiming to do. Um, but this is uh, one of the uh, tools that I use to upload a bunch of uh, evergreen content. This is content that can be uh, posted today or six months from now or a year from now. And it still is uh, just as fresh and just as good as, as any. Um, so I really like this feature. I like the recycle updates because that gets my head... Just it, it takes a lot of weight off of my shoulders that I must have something on social media every stinking day. Um, this actually helps. Um, then you can check this off in case um, you've got anything that extends the length of, say, Twitter, for example. It'll just um, skip it. And account inclusion. Now, this is an interesting feature. I can have, say I have a database of... Uh, inspirational images that will work for my own business and also my uh, side music project, uh, Little Spiral. So my business, Yeda Creative, um, and uh, my music project, Little Spiral, are all drawing from the same queue, but they're not being posted the same picture at the same time to all of these different accounts. Um, so I have that checked off because I want this, I, I don't want the same picture to be on both of my accounts. I want them to have different timings and rhythms and, and personalities. Um, but I, I have hundreds and hundreds of these images, so I'm not, I'm also not worried about if somebody sees um, that I've posted one image across um, two different accounts. I'm not too worried about that. But um I do like to have this account inclusion checked off. Um, you can um, do not reset the, I, I leave that blank. Um, publish only on these days. 
Um, I like to keep things um, to human hours, at least uh, typically human hours. And then um, right now I have the, the cue paused because I'm about to go fill it right now. So that's an example of a cue in Social Oomph. Um, I am about to add a photo. I'm just going to go create new update. Um, this is just plain text and this is the images. I'm going to be adding images and I'm just going to be adding one. So let me choose a file. I will be um, loading this and this is kind of how I manage it. Um, I'm going to be loading this a head full of fears uh, in. And actually let me double check to actually see what it says. I'm going to hit the space bar just to preview it. Make sure it's the right one. Yeah. Head full of fears, has no space for dreams. And I usually um, add a little so true inspiration. Or maybe don't I know it. And a hashtag inspiration. Um, any thing that I'm posting in this particular queue, the inspirational queue, is going to have the hashtag inspiration. Um, so I am going to um, uncheck this and say don't schedule, just add this image and text to my queue, inspirational images. Um, and I am going to say when, I, when you publish it, you put that image and text back into the reservoir at the end of the queue. Um, and you have the option of saying just use this update a couple of times and then delete it from the, uh, the queue. So I'm going to hit save. And the text and photo have been added to the reservoir. And so that's what I'll be doing. And um, just for management's sake, so this is my inspirational quotes um, folder. Um, I like to have a little folder right here called loaded to social oomph and just psh, drag it there and make sure that everything is kind of squirreled away. Um, you can see we've already started doing some stuff. So that's the very, very basics of social oomph. The reason why I use it is that um, never ending queue feature. It is very helpful and you can hook up multiple accounts to one queue um, and it staggers the posts between the accounts. Um, so that's not the same post um, across all your accounts, which is very useful for me uh, because I, I run a whole bunch of different projects. Um, and so I, I really uh, like that feature. And it's more affordable than other uh, Q platforms like Meet Edgar. Um, but Meet Edgar is also a lot more user friendly, so um, there is a there is a you know you have to make a decision on that. But um, yeah, that is uh, the very very basics of social oomph and why I like it. And I hope you appreciate this video. Thanks.